The William Morris year starts off Series 9 in a pretty atypical place for Peep Show. Mark and Jez are revealed to not have been living together for six months and are seemingly not on good terms at the beginning of the episode. Mark's working at a bank and living with a guy named Jerry. Hans is engaged to Molly and has Jez living in his bathroom. However, I'm really glad that Mark and Jez reconcile very quickly and Jez moves back into the flat by the end. And I think in doing so, it reassures you that the series is not going to be trying anything too unorthodox, despite the obvious differences from the last. It's Mark and Jeremy's relationship with each other that really makes the show work and bringing them back together ASAP is definitely a good sign. They could have easily strung out the Jez not living in the flat thing for a few episodes and maybe that could have been somewhat interesting, but I'm personally glad that it didn't happen. Although I have to say that Tim Key's character, the newly introduced Jerry, who took Jeremy's place, feels slightly underwhelming as a character, though that may have been intentional. Plus the bit at the end with the waterboarding and shoving him in the lift is just a bit stupid and contrived, even though I like the moment in which Hans suddenly becomes the voice of reason. Being in a sleeping bag doesn't make you physically incapable of moving or freeing yourself. Come on, Jerry. Super Hands features a lot in the episode, which I like, and the fact that he was apparently initially sober and has a fiancé is a good sign that he's going to play a fairly significant role in the rest of the series, which is never a bad thing. Plus that immediate transition between wetting the whistle and the fuck and suck song has got to be my favourite moment in the episode. I like the fact that Mark works at a bank now, as it's definitely the closest role he's had to the one he had at JLB. His eclectic employment history post-JLB was funny, but I don't think it really fitted a senior credit manager office drone like him. A bank seems like a realistic step for Mark, though the rather sterile setting doesn't seem like it would lend itself to the office relationships and camaraderie like in JLB, though we'll have to wait and see if that's actually the case. Plus the brilliant Alan Johnson returns, which is good as I'm glad we get to see more of him too. I think this is a pretty decent first episode of a series, and it manages to introduce a lot of new ideas, characters and situations without it feeling overwhelming, and some of the things I said I wasn't too big of a fan of, like Jerry being a somewhat underwhelming character, can definitely be alleviated later down the line. An amazing TV program like Peep Show didn't deserve to go out in the way that the last episode ended, so I'm glad this episode exists and that Mark and Jeremy are going to get one last two are.